My name is Mark Updegraff, and I'm here with John Engelbrecht. We are both graduate assistants working with Olympic sports here at Virginia Tech. And today, we'll be going over how to perform the bench press. Touching on equipment setup for the bench press, the movement will be performed either in a half or full rack, using a standard barbell, plates or bumpers, and collars or clips to secure the weight on. When you're setting up the bench press, make sure that you set the bar and the J-hooks to a height appropriate for the student athlete or individual performing the bench press, making sure that they have two to three inches of liftoff space when unracking and re-racking the bar. Touching on safety for the bench press, make sure that your barbell is loaded evenly on both sides with your plate or bumpers and secured by collars or clips to make sure that the weight doesn't slide off while you're performing the movement. Also, the movement does require spotting. When you have a spotter, make sure that you're communicating well to and from the student athlete or individual performing the movement and your spotter, making sure that you're counting down a three, two, one liftoff and the spotter should follow the bar throughout the entire range of motion in the movement with an over underhand alternating grip and then helping the individual performing the movement re-rack the bar once the movement is complete. Going over position setup for the bench press, the student athlete or individual performing the movement is going to want to keep their five points of contact. When they approach the bench, first they're going to set both feet firmly in the ground. As they sit down on the bench, making sure their hips are on the bench, their upper back and head are both secured on the bench. And as they grab the bar at about shoulder width or slightly wider, in a pronated grip, they wrap their thumbs around the bar to ensure that the bar does not fall or slide out of their hands while they're performing the movement. So again, going over the five points of contact, both feet firmly in the ground, hips, upper back, and head should be firmly in the bench, and both hands should be evenly spaced and firmly secured on the bar. So now, going over the execution for the bench press, as the student athlete or individual gets set on the bench, with their five points of contact, the spotter will get set behind them. Making sure that the student athlete or individual performing the bench press is communicating well with their spotter. Once the student athlete or individual gets set on the bench with their five points of contact, the spotter will use an over underhand alternating grip to help them unrack the bar ready to perform the bench press. As the bar is unracked, the student athlete will make sure that the bar is centered over their chest, controlling it down to the bottom of their chest and then driving up with max effort. Good, let's get two more reps. Nice job. Touch, drive up. Good. Once the student athlete is done, the spotter should assist them with re-racking the bar into the rack.